So it's a beautiful day in Goldenrod, perfect for us to go ahead and explore around a little bit. I haven't really, you know, explored around Goldenrod a whole lot yet, so... First of all, let's go over this way. What's going on, guy? I know there's a new bike shop, but I can't find it anywhere. Hey, follow me, guy. It's right down this way. First of all, though, let's go in this random house just because we walk into people's houses like it's our fucking business. And we got a nice little family chilling. What's up? If you treat your Pokemon nicely, they will love you in return. Let me see your Pokemon. It's friendly toward you. It looks sort of happy. Cool. Cool. Well, how about... How about Munchlax? Because Munchlax evolves through happiness, right? Is it, That's how it works? What do you say about this motherfucker? It's quite cute. That's all you're, that's all you're gonna say about my Munchlax. Thanks. I keep losing in battles, and my Pokemon end up fainting. Maybe that's why my Pokemon don't like me much. When I use an item on my Pokemon, it acts really glad. Okay, so th this house is basically just so if you want to, like, check your happiness for return or when Pokemon evolve and stuff. But here we have the bike shop. So let's go in here, see if we can't cop a sponsorship. I'll do some sweet tricks on your bike, bro. So I opened a new branch here, but I can't sell my bicycles. Why is that? Could you ride a bicycle and advertise for me? Hey, sure. Give me your name and phone number and I'll loan you a bicycle. All right, sounds like a deal. Just got ourselves a free fucking bicycle. So we're basically just these, uh, we're, we're a representative for this bike shop. That's, that's cool. Let's actually just go ahead and register that key item because I might use it quite often. I don't know. I don't really use the bike a whole lot just because it's kind of annoying to use on an emulator, but fuck it. Hop on our swag new bicycle and continue lurking around. So up over this way we have Whitney's Gym, which is right yonder. And then we have, what is it, the flower shop? Goldenrod Flower Shop, a small shop providing lots of beauty. And then we have like a random other house. Let's go see what's popping over here. What's up? Hey, talk to me. Sometimes a healthy Pokemon may be unable to use its moves. If that happens, heal it at a Pokemon Center or use an item. Yeah. I've... <laughs> Lady, I have two gym badges. I'm sort of a big deal. I fucking know about this shit. And that is a useless house. <laughs> Literally nothing happens there. Okay, cool. So actually, let's go in this flower. This here flower shop, I think we get the, uh, the the water bucket deal, right? Apparently there's an odd tree. say it dances when you water it. Well, of course not. This is a flower shop, so we do have watering cans and things like that, but I cannot let you have one. It's too dangerous. What? If you manage to defeat the Goldenrod Gym Leader, it might be okay. So we can't battle the Sudowoodo yet. We have to get the Gym Badge before we can go over to the flower shop, so that's unfortunate. Over here we have... The name raider, so you can change your Pokemon's nicknames, that's cool, and then we just have the other side of the, uh, the underground tunnel place. So, cool. The man at the tent rates your Pokemon names. Yeah, I know. Now let's go ahead, might as well, better time, good, good as time as any, to just go ahead and, uh, check out Whitney's gym. What's up? Yo, champ in the making. This guy, the, <laughs> this guy, the gym is home to normal Pokemon trainers. I was gonna say, this guy is freaking the number one believer in me, man. He's the real MVP. Let's battle you. We'll just leave Munchlax in front, because why not? Oh, you're a cute little trainer. I like you, but I won't hold back. Oh, really? Call me cute and little, huh? Well, I'll show you. Holy fuck, you have a Raikou. Okay. Well, um, Raikou, let's... Should I just... I'm just gonna extreme speed this thing. It actually might even end up killing it. It's only level 9, so Raikou, you're not... You're not impressing anybody. I don't know why you have such low-level shit. Okay, so Uraku goes down. That could have been scary if that thing was like 10 levels higher, but... Tubby wants to learn Earthquake. Fuck yes. Why does Munchlax learn all the good stuff, man? Let's get rid of... Probably just Will-O-Wisp, considering I do have Will-O-Wisp on... Um... Cheerio, you know what, I need... I need Earthquake, so fuck that slot. Got ourselves some Will-O-Wisp, hell yeah. So Tubby learned Earthquake, that is amazing. Next is a Barboach. Okay, Barboach, let's, um, let's let Cheerio do his thing on you, eh? Like a bow. So I really want this damn thing to evolve. It's gonna be a while, though. Okay, level 16 Barboach, decent level now. Good thing the Raikou wasn't level... <laughs> Good thing the Pokemon levels weren't switched, because that would kind of suck. It's gonna me first my Vine Whip, so that's not gonna do anything, but... Guess what? It's gonna do a lot to you, and that is a dead Barboach. See you later. Next is Budu. Let's actually just stay in, let Cheerio... Ooh, found its... Found my Miracle Seed, huh? I'm just gonna go for a Chatter. Fuck yo, Budu. Mud Slap? Bro, I can't see a damn thing. Oh god, accuracy. Man, of course Chatter misses. What the fuck? Now it has Muddy Water. Interesting, interesting. And lowered my accuracy again. I'm not gonna be able to attack this damn thing. Mighty Doge, you shall kill this thing. And it tried to use Muddy Water, but my Dry Skin actually absorbed it, so fuck yeah. 
And I missed the heat wave. What is it fucking impossible to hit this damn thing or what? Okay, there we go. Fuck you, buddy. And it goes down. Wait, that person's named Gentleman Joe? But you're a but you're you're a lady. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, well we'll continue down this way and we have a door over here. Cool. What's up? So I'm gonna need to battle all the people I can just to get experience. Give it your best shot or I'll take you down. Ooh, take me down. So here we have Gentleman Jasmine. Yeah, all these girls are named Gentleman. That's fucking hilarious. So has a Firo, level 16. Tubby's still in front. We're just going to... I'm gonna just Meteor Mash and then go... Oh, fucking has Ice Shard. Oh, okay. <laughs> Gonna hit me with some priority. Hit me with that priority, bitch. And, okay, Meteor Mash connects. Extreme Speed should probably kill now. Stab Extreme Speed. Munchlax for the win. If Munchlax died, I would be so sad. And down goes the Firo. Next is Altaria. Okay, that's interesting. I don't have any ice... Definitely don't have any ice moves. I'm just gonna let Perry do it, though. I have faith, Perry. I have faith. Let's bring out Perry the Parrot. Jasmine's gonna send out a level 16 Altaria. Holy shit. Okay, well, I'm just gonna go for a bounce. <clears throat> when in doubt, stab it out. Tries to Aqua Tail, huh? Fuck yo, Aqua Tail, bruh. Lands on you with my bounce. I mean, damn, did not do as much as I thought. And actually has Air Slash, too. Holy fuck, that does damage. Shit. Okay, so I can't really switch into Rick Roll because it does have Aqua Tail. That's... And it has Air Slash. This looks like a job for Seahorse. You gotta, like, figure out the matchups, like, according to fucking their movesets. It's confusing as hell. Air Slash, you, and got that flinch. That's right. See, oh, and now I miss. Okay, I got the flinch, but it didn't mean anything because then I missed the next one, so fuck. We're just air slashing each other now. And I missed two in a row. What are the fucking odds? Come on. Seahorse. You're blowing it. There we go. So down goes the Altaria. See you later. Cool. Let's put Cherubi in front. I kind of just feel like using using that thing. Why not? So we can't go over to the left, but that's fine. We just got the experience for battling that bitch. Then we'll go around this way. Where there is a couple more trainers. What's poppin'? You shouldn't let your guard down just because I don't look tough. Yeah, you don't look very tough at all. Nurse Tristan here has one Pokemon. It's a Trico, level 17. Okay, so at least we're, we're about the same in levels now. And why didn't me first work on my chatter? What? That's... Confusing, okay. Well, Chatter is gonna be a nice little two-hit KO here. Tried to me first, me twice. And down goes the Trico. <laughs> you fail. Your Trico is terrible. And we'll battle you two. What's up? I like cute Pokemon better than strong Pokemon, but I have strong Pokemon. Strong and cute Pokemon. Typical girl. Likes the cute Pokemon, of course. Nurse Joe here has a Garchomp, level 15. Okay, so this is probably going to be the same type of Garchomp as we usually see. I'm going to Will-O-Wisp it. As, okay, it tries to go for a sunny day, so that's that's definitely different. It's unfortunate I'm not evolved and had my regular ability, but whatever. So I got a nice burn on that thing, and I might as well just, I guess, hit it with some Mind Whips. Unless it has something sketchy. Oh, it actually is going to loaf around. Okay. Loafing around like a piece of bread. Or like a loaf of bread, I guess, would be the correct terminology, but... That Vine Whip, that, oh, fucking Leaf Storm, okay, I was gonna say that Vine Whip crit didn't do a damn thing. Luckily, though, it just hits me with a Leaf Storm, so Cheerio can take that. Cheerio, mate. And Vine Whip, and then a couple more of those after some burns. Should do the trick. Loafing around, one more Vine Whip, oh, okay, okay, burn damage. Burn is the real MVP, and down goes the Garchomp. Cool. Next is a Zubat. Nice. Well, Zubat, what do I have for you? I'm just gonna go into Seahorse. I do have Psybeam, so. Well, that should do the trick. <clears throat> Level 15 Zubat. Psybeam about to fuck you up. Seahorse doesn't take too kindly to Zubats around here. Critical hit is gonna knock that thing out, so that was relatively easy. Last is a Glaceon. Cool, so let's, um. Although this sounds like a terrible idea, I'm gonna send in Fampy on a Glaceon because it chances are it probably doesn't have any actual ice moves. So I'm gonna go ahead and fake out, get a little bit of damage, and then cross chop your ass. 
as it uses Ominous Wind, so cool. I think Glaceon can actually learn Ominous Wind, but I'm not sure. Anyways, Cross Chop is going to connect, chop you right in the damn neck. And okay, that didn't do as much as I was kind of hoping, but fuck it, there's always next time. Bone Meringue. Glaceon, where the fuck did you get a bone? It's like, I understand Marowak using that, but Glaceon, like, bruh. Cross Chop to your face again, and that is a dead Glaceon. Oh, yeah. So cool, I believe. Oh, Rickroll grows a lot of experience from that shit. And okay, so that's the last of the little gym minions before the gym leader. But first, before we battle Whitney, I'm going to go ahead and heal up. I'm kind of praying that Whitney doesn't have anything too scary. She could pull out like a damn Mewtwo or just something ridiculous, but... I've been getting lucky. I've been getting pretty lucky so far. So, you know, hopefully, hopefully I'll be alright. Hop on the old bike for efficiency. Catch a nice heal up, and then let's go defeat that bitch-ass gym leader. Luckily, she's not going to have her mill tank. <laughs> so that's that's kind of the nice thing about randomized Whitney is she's not gonna have her damn Miltank to just be able to roll out me all damn day. But I mean, I guess I'd probably be able to handle Miltank anyway. But so back to the gym we go. Climb across the big Jigglypuff or whatever the fuck this thing's supposed to be. Damn, bam. Go through your little little arch deal, and we have arrived. All right, so I'm probably just gonna leave. Probably just gonna leave Cheerio in front just because I don't even know what she's gonna lead with. It doesn't matter. Anyways, hi, I'm Whitney. You. I saw you at the radio tower just now. Everyone was into Pokemon, so I got into it too. Pokemon are super cute. You want to battle? I'm warning you, I'm good. Alright, so this is Mia. <laughs> it's a gym leader Mia here. <clears throat> Actually, not gonna be a gym leader title. It is Performer Mia. Only has two Pokemon, so this should be pretty easy. Leads with a Zubat. Okay, level 17 Zubat. That's. That's not bad at all. Cheerio, on the other hand, probably really doesn't have the matchup too well here, so I'm going to switch into Seahorse. Handle the Zubat the same way I handled the last one. What are the odds that I get two different Zubats in the same freaking randomized thing? Hits me with a Slash. That ain't going to work. And Psybeam might not just one-hit KO this thing. Oh, okay. Or it is. I underestimated Seahorse. So down goes the Zubat. First hit. What do we got next? And a Skun Tank. Okay. So, Skun Tank, Skun Tank. Um, it's a Dark Poison. I can't side beam this thing. What the fuck should I do to... I'm gonna go into Tubby. Okay, so Tubby does have Earthquake, which is fucking badass. Switch in my boy Munchlax here. Okay, Skun Tank. What are the odds that... <laughs> That's actually hilarious. It's supposed to be Mill Tank. This, so this is her Mill Tank, but it's named Skun Tank. Like, what? You just got different tanks. Just traded in your mill tank for a scun tank. It's got sick of your old tank. Okay, well, let's just go for an earthquake as it hits me with a dragon rush. That's gonna hurt. Fuck, that did like half to me. Oh my god. Munchlax. Let's see how much this EQ does. Damage, bruh. Okay, so it does about half to him. Huh. Poor me. Yeah, poor you, Whitney. Anyway, okay, so. Munchlax can't take another attack. <clears throat> but thinking about it, I'm glad I didn't leave Kingdra in there, Jesus. Who wants to take an attack from this thing? I'm wondering if Rick Roll... How much damage Rick Roll's gonna take. I can't let Tubby stay in here. Fuck, man. It just did a little too much damage. I mean, I could probably take another one. I just don't really want to risk it. Max damage could fuck me up. I'm gonna go into Rick Roll here. Hits me with another Dragon Rush. Ouch. And, okay, whew. That does, like, a perfect amount of damage for Fampy. Although, the only problem about this is the fact that I don't really have anything to hit this thing with. I mean, I have neutral cross chop, but I'm gonna go for a fake out, first of all. Flinch, and then I'm going to... Since this thing's level 19, it's kind of scary. I'm gonna defend order here. Aurora Beam. Oh, fuck. Shoots it right out of its ass. F oh, my... Oh my god! Fampy just lives that Aurora Beam with 2 HP like it's nobody's fucking business. Holy shit, why am I so lucky? Oh my, I deserved to die there. Fampy was not going down like that. Fampy does not just go down that easy. Well now since I got a defend order, I can go ahead and super potion. Now I should be able to take any attack very nicely. Hell yeah. Now we cross chop. Yeah, why were you not using Aurora Beam? Shoots it right out of its ass. 
<laughs> oh my god, I can't believe I li I was literally so ready to just see Fampy die after I saw it had Aurora Beam. My god. Well, I can just go for one more. And, okay, of course this bitch gonna use a Super Potion. I really wish Fampy had fucking Earthquake. That would make my life... much easier. I can take another attack. I'm just gonna cross drop again. You know what? Fuck it. No crit, please. No crit, please. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Holy shit. I do connect with a cross drop. Good to see. Good to see. And now I just have to super potion, I guess. Fuck, man. Aurora Beam Scum Tank. New meta, bro. New meta. Jesus Christ, this thing is just racking up the damage. And my god, if one critical hit happens, I'm fucked. I guess that's the thing with randomized Nuzlocke, though. Never know what the fuck's gonna happen, and holy shit, okay. Do I predict him, or her, to go for the Aurora Beam? Probably not. That's probably not the best idea. I guess I should just... Oh, fuck, accidentally hit run. I guess I should just Super Potion again. And, oh my god, she's gonna potion too. Fuck! I should have switched into Munchlag. I should have potioned Munchlags. Damn it. Actually, here is what I'm gonna do. I'm going to... Potion Tubby. Goes for the Aurora Beam. That's fine. I don't want to sit here and cross chop this thing all day. Plus, I don't have very much power points left. So I'm gonna switch into Tubby now. Hopefully goes for the Aurora Beam. No Dragon Rush, please. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Predicted your Aurora Beam. I can take a Dragon Rush. Then I can hit this thing with an Earthquake, and then I don't think Extreme Speed would kill it, but... Oh, fuck. Okay, damage. I get the Earthquake off, so that's good news. And you gotta be at least out of fucking potions by now, Whitney. Okay, so doing damage, doing damage, I just... Cannot take another Dragon Rush. So Earthquake did a lot. Damn it, Tubby, we're fucking... Hmm. Yeah, I'm just gonna switch back into Rickroll. Take a Dragon Rush. Although, now I don't have my damn defenses. Fuck me, man. This is... <laughs> I'm terrible. I'm going to fake out. Haha. -ha. I only have two potions left, so I gotta play this right. Super Potion Rickroll. <clears throat> Take this Aurora Beam. Fuck, that does damage. Fuck, man. If I could just switch into... Mighty Doge could probably... If I could set up a Reflect with this thing, that would actually be very nice. Alright, Mighty Doge, let's do it. Does go for the Aurora Beam, does a little bit of damage, but... Oh, fuck. What, what am I doing? He just goes for Dragon Rush, and that's gonna fuck me up. Okay. Oh, shit. Thank God. So Mighty Doge is able to live that. I'm able to get the Reflect up. I only have one potion left at this point. I do have the Reflect up, though, so that's... That's good. I could probably even just go into, like... I'm just gonna go into Parry. You got full HP. Fuck it, bro. Oh, no. Fucking Aurora Beam's gonna be... No! Fucking thought you were gonna Dragon Rush. Damn it! And I don't know how fast this fucking thing is. Oh my god, dude. This is... This is fucked. Actually, you know, I'm switching into Seahorse. This is just a, a fucking shit show of a battle, and I apologize for that. But holy hell, King was able to come in and just air slash this thing for, for the kill. And my god, I, I played that terribly. I, there was probably an easier way to go about that, but then sometimes when I get mixed up in the, <laughs> in the midst of things, I just feel like I just panic. And could have fucked up. Nobody died, though, so, you know, that's... That's at least good news. <laughs> I'm a terrible battler when it comes to this shit. Oh, man. Wow. Snivel. Heh. <laughs> you meanie. What? Why are you crying? Bruh. Give me my fucking badge. Oh, no. You made Whitney cry. It's okay. She'll stop soon. She always cries when she loses. Can I have my damn badge? What? You want a badge? Oh, right. I forgot. Here's the plane badge. So we got ourselves the plane badge from Whitney. And that was, that was a hard-earned badge. I, I feel like I... I don't deserve to walk out of here with all my Pokemon still alive. Like, fuck me. Okay, so we get TM45. It's supposed to be a tract. 
which is perfectly useless. So now, let's see what we actually got. We have teleport, even more useless. I mean, I guess we can just teleport to a Poke Center, but even then, it's kind of like not really worth a uh, <laughs> not really worth a move slot. So holy hell, that was an intense battle. Whitney's Scun Tank, not Mill Tank, was uh, was was kind of a problem. And Jesus, why can't I fucking <laughs> let me run down these stairs? Damn it. Okay, so since we got the badge, we could probably go steal this damn water bucket deal. What's up? <clears throat> Apparently there's an odd tree, Route 36, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a plain badge from Goldenrod. You defeat Whitney? Well, there's nothing to worry about, is there? I'll let you use this squirt bottle for a while then. Oh, never mind, keep it. Hell yeah, so we get a free squirt bottle, we got a free bike. We're just getting all sorts of free shit. That is what I am talking about. Let's go back to the Poké Center. We're going to heal up, and then we're going to go see what's happening with that tree. We're going to go squirt it with some water, it's going to wiggle a little bit, get it nice and wet. Sounds a little weird, but, you know, that's what we're going to do. So... Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next episode. Hit that like button if you've been enjoying this series. You already know what to do. It helps out. I appreciate seeing all the comments and likes and stuff. So, peace out, guys.